Today we're going to do some cold smoked salmon and this is a real art to getting uh, salmon cold smoked because we're actually not going to cook it with um, temperature. We're going to cook it with salt and so we're going to be adding a cure to this fish to dry it and, um, and then we will smoke it in the PG-1000 but we're going to cold smoke it so all we're doing smoke wise is to get flavor into it. So we're going to start by, um, by curing the fish and this is going to take 12 hours to accomplish this. We've got a cup of kosher salt and a cup of brown sugar or sugar in the raw. We'll just mix that together. Like all cures, typically you want to have equal parts salt and sugar and so we'll mix those up and then we're going to just take a couple of tablespoons of maple syrup and add those into our recipe here. And this is a dry cure so we don't want to add enough that we um, turn it into a liquid. We just want to add some maple syrup. It's going to give us a really nice flavor um, for our salmon. We'll just mix that into our cure then. And once we have this mixed together then we're going to apply this to the meat side of the salmon. So we've got the salmon on a uh, cutting board here that is um, skin side down. And now we'll put the, um, the cure on there. And what we want to end up with is about uh, between an eighth and a quarter inch of cure um, on top of the, um, the meaty side of the salmon. And so we're just going to take and spread this on there. You want to make sure that you cover all the fish. The salt's going to be dry, drawing the moisture out of the salmon. So we're just going to cover the salmon up with saran wrap. And now we'll put it into the refrigerator for 12 hours. So we've had the salmon now in the refrigerator for 12 hours. You can see how the cure has worked its way into the meat, pulled a lot of moisture out of the fish. You can actually leave the salmon in the cure for kind of as long as you'd like, typically no less than about 10 hours and no more than about 18. The longer you leave it in there, the drier the fish will get. And um, so I like it right at about 12 hours. And so we're now going to take this and rinse off our um, our cure and then we will put it back into the refrigerator uncovered this time to let it dry and we want it to dry for between six and eight hours. We've let our salmon now sit in the refrigerator and dry for about 12 hours. Now we're going to um, put it in the PG-1000 and cold smoke it. We're going to use the warming drawer to do that with. And what we've done is we want to go out and set up the 1000 and get it running at 170 degrees. It's important that we get it stabilized because a lot of times they'll overshoot temperature a little bit at startup and we want to make sure that we get the temperature down at the right temperature level to cold smoke at. So we'll set the temperature at its lowest um, setting which is 170 degrees. Then we took out the grease baffle and have added a pan of ice um, so that we make sure that we keep our salmon below 90 degrees. And so now we're ready to go out and place the salmon in the warming drawer. So here we have our cold smoked salmon. We pulled it out of the smoker after smoking it for four hours. We've sliced it really thin and here we have it on a traditional bagel with cream cheese. If you'd like more information about Cook Shack, give us a call at 1-800-423-0698 or visit us on the web at cookshack.com. <music>